The members, or the family members rather, of those being held, it has been three months, more than three months actually, of unimaginable torture. Aviana Golodriga spoke to the mother of one of those hostages. She explains what keeps her going and why she still has not lost faith in humanity. You're now in triple digits of wearing the number of days that Hirsch has not been with you. In fact, Hirsch is supposed to be in India. That's a long trip now. And I was really struck by one of the reasons you gave for wearing the number on your shirt, and that is to make people feel uncomfortable. I think that adds to the point you just made about people doing more, the world collectively coming together to get these hostages home, because it is not normal that 136 people are not at home with their families. What has been the reaction to the number? So it's been very strong, and I actually think it's very helpful. Um, Even um, last month I was in Geneva uh, speaking at the UN, and at passport control, um, the man who was stamping my passport said, what's 67? And I said, oh, it's the days that since my son was stolen from me. And he said, what are you talking about? And I told, and you know, and he, get, he stamped my passport, he gave it back. He said, I'll be praying for him. And you know, that happens every single day, everywhere I am. So here, even in the grocery store yesterday in Davos, as we ran in to get some drinks, you know, the cashier said, what's 102? So here, even in the grocery store yesterday in Davos, as we ran in to get some drinks, you know, the cashier said, what's 102? And, And, you know, you say to someone, it's the amount of days. Uh, Well, we know that he was at the uh, music festival um, on the morning of October 7th with, um, I think it was 3,000 other young people, uh, music lovers. uh, I am the mother of Hirsch Goldberg Poland, a wounded civilian American-Israeli kidnapped from the music festival on October 7th. Right now, we, how we are living. I don't understand the method. So I don't know who I'm really dealing with. I don't know who he's dealing with. Like as a mother, I just think to myself, everyone in Gaza has a mother. Like maybe there's a mother somewhere there, wherever he is, who can just. I hope so, I hope so. I definitely, we all were talking afterwards, the people who, the families, and we really feel embraced and heard, and uh, Secretary of State uh, Lincoln gave all of us um, contacts of people. But does he he have a plan? Well, I think that they have a lot of plans and they're not really in a situation where they can share the plan. Did they know anything about where anybody is? Holy Father, thank you for taking the time to try to help us free the 240 human beings who are buried alive under Gaza. They are from all different religions, Muslim, Jewish, Christian, Hindu, Buddhist, and they are human beings, they are God's children, and we really appreciate you trying to bring them. What do you want people to know about him? To know about Hirsch? Mm -hmm. Um, Hirsch is a curious, voracious reader who is a very laid back person. Holy Father and our friends at the Vatican and all of our Christian friends and neighbors all over the world, This is Rachel. I am the mother of Hirsch Goldberg Poland, who has been a hostage in Gaza for the last 75 days. But I wanted to reach out to wish all of you a happy 
and healthy Christmas season. Um, of truth. It's something that's uncomfortable, which it should be. Nova Music Festival. Eyewitnesses had told them that, that their son Hirsch was put into a truck by gunmen and driven off, but they had no video of their son. So during that live interview a week ago, when we showed a picture of Hirsch, this picture, I realized I actually had seen their son and had a video of their son on my phone. It had been shown to me by a soldier uh, at the music festival. We recorded it off his phone. We had permission from him to do so, and it had never been released publicly. I did not want to shock them during this live interview, so I waited till the interview was done, and then I called Rachel and John immediately, and I sent them the video, and it was their son, Hirsch. I've been in touch with the family a lot this last week, and they now would like everyone to see this video. They want you to know what has happened to their child, and they want the world to know that there are seriously wounded people who were taken by Hamas. And this video is proof of that. We blurred out some parts of it, but we want to warn you, it is disturbing. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. God is great, the gunman shouts, recording on his phone. He checks a car, looking for anyone else hiding. <laughs> Other gunmen shout as they bring survivors from the shelter. Come, come, they yell. Load them. That's Hirsch on the right with another hostage. His left hand and part of his arm is blown off. The bone sticks out. The other hostage appears wounded as well. Another wounded hostage is dragged by his hair and tossed into the truck. <laughs> a fourth man is thrown on top of them. When I sent the video to you, what was your initial... First of all, it's, it's, it's a crazy sequence of events that we talk to you through a computer screen and then get a phone call from you saying, I have a video of your son. I, I didn't want to say on live television. Which we so appreciated. Of course. The way everything has unfolded, the gentleness. Appreciating. Um, can you give us a little bit of insight um, into what you talked about with President Biden yesterday and what he told you? Sure. So yesterday was actually our second meeting with President Biden. I'll remind viewers that the first meeting was on October 13th, six days into this saga. And uh, the message from that day, including until yesterday, has been consistent. And we feel tremendous support from President Biden, from Secretary of State Blinken, from the entire U.S. administration, from Congress. Other gunmen shout as they bring survivors from the shelter. Come, come, they yell. Load them. That's Hirsch on the right with another hostage. Uh, at the music festival. We recorded it off his phone. We had permission from him to do so, and it had never been released publicly. I did not want to shock them during this live interview, so I waited till the interview was done, and then I called Rachel and John immediately, 
and I sent them the video, and it was their son, Hirsch. I've been in touch with the family a lot this last week, and they now would like everyone to see this video.